Hello, hello. So, <laughs> tell me what happened. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought I would uh, definitely destroy him in one of his colonies, but no. No, I woke up this morning to a horrible combat report that basically said I lost everything. You lost your whole fleet attacking one colony? Yeah. Did you know how many ships he had going in? No. Like how do you no, hide I didn't. That? But... What's that? How do you hide that? Can't you send in a scout and see what's there first kind of thing? Or I probably should have done that, but no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I saw he had three ships and I said, ah, oh, yeah, I could do that. And then I guess by the time I got there, he either moved some more ships or just a lot of the ships weren't showing up on my radar yet. So, yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, he's he's got a tight cluster, so he can he can move a lot of things inside his territory quickly. Well, just wait till he gets jump gates. How soon is that? Um, Probably pretty soon. How jump gates? It's like 50 years away from me. How does how can he even be that far ahead? Uh, he's making like 6,000 research points or something. What? Yeah. 6,000? Yeah. <laughs> How many ships does he have? Uh, let's see. He has... Uh... Check in. Seventy-one. Seventy-one ships. And how many yeah, of those are? He has the most technology. Huh? Uh, he has the most technology of anyone as well. Like he's the, the most advanced. What the fuck did he do that we didn't do? Uh, he also has the most colonies. Thirty-three colonies. Holy shit! How Damn. many you got? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely winning. How many colonies you got? I have, uh, what do I have? 30. Shit, I think I got 25. Yep. So are there any, like who's in, who are, are there other players or is it just him and you and me and the rest are? Uh, no, there's another guy, uh, what's his name, like the, Vertebirth Federation. They're also yeah. doing really good. And I'm pretty sure he's allied with the with the other guy. Is he? <laughs> I think so, yeah. So we gotta get allied with everybody else. Yeah. And then uh, across the other side of the galaxy, uh the governor is it the governor? Our Gover coalition is also uh, basically being attacked by him. He's kind of on my side. We've been talking about it. So yeah, he's with us. And then on the other side of him, there's another one who's uh, our enemy, basically, it seems. So so that that happened this morning. So he's probably going to counterattack, right? He's going to start to attack your, your colonies. Oh, I hope not. The closest, I, I made sure that the ones that are closest to him, they have a lot of defenses. You mean the ones beside me in the center? Yeah, they each have uh, like level five ground batteries, level three automated defense nets. They got three global or three orbital weapons and global defense net in orbit. They're pretty <laughs> I didn't solid. Know orbital batteries had level five. Uh, ground batteries, yeah, they can go up to level five. So how's, hey, I, I got to go to Washington, DB. Can we just pause for a sec? So which colony did you attack? Oh, I was wrong, by the way. I was wrong, by the way. He's making 8,000 research points. He's got 8,000. 8,081. How the fuck, where's it all coming from? Uh, 
he's done 1726 telescope studies and uh he's done he's getting 2766 points from planetary surveys and then 445 from science stations 235 from science ships and 2891 from his colonies this guy's just freaking on this game all the time just pressing buttons i think so yeah <laughs> i don't know how he does so many telescope studies it's Actually, it doesn't add up. That's weird. Huh. Well, he's just always clicking them, right? He's just... Yeah. Holy I think there's something wrong with that because there's only 1,618 star systems. But he's clicked them all. He's clicked more than all of them. <laughs> huh. I'll have to look into that. That's weird. <laughs> so how many carriers does he have? Uh, oh, I don't want to give out too information, too much information. I haven't, I haven't actually looked either. I just know the total amount of ships. So he's so far ahead. Like I'm at three thousand research. How how many metal alloys is it? I don't even have three thousand. What's that? I, I don't even have three thousand. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you attack the beast? <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's yeah, apparently. Come. I think I think our only chance is to team up. <laughs> well, you, you just attacked a lion and we're a couple of foxes. Yeah, I thought I'd do him some a good bloody nose, but he just destroyed my fleet. <laughs> so wait a second. Man. You found out in the morning. You did you didn't even because what no, happens I if you beat his first forces and then he brought in some other later on or something? No, it was all one fight when I arrived, apparently. So he you was just came into me. the system and right away there's a fight? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you leave your ships in, in orbit of the star itself, then they'll just defend the system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm building more ships, but yeah, it'll be a while till I can make another attack. You don't want to attack. You want to defend now. Yeah, at this point, I'm gonna be. I'm yeah, just gonna be fortifying my defenses. Because now, fuck, you're gonna. He's gonna take you out one by one. He'll just come in with his massive fleet and bomb the shit out of each one of your colonies, and he's gonna start right in that center point. I know that's my that's the fulcrum basically. If he can take out the uh, Johan Sar system, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but he might just. I mean, if he's smart, he might come around and underneath and just pop you to some, some place you're undefended. Yeah, he already went behind my lines. Uh, or actually, not even him. And um, Another Empire, Camp Hot Dogs. He took a destroyer like behind my lines and took out two of my terraforming ships and two of my science ships and, and a couple of my science stations. What? Yeah, they were all undefended. Yeah, like way back in the corner of the map, too. Well, yeah, I mean, you could just send single ships in and just anything undefended, you just pound, right? Yeah, and at the moment, because the intercept, I still haven't finished the intercept. There's no way to really do anything about it unless you have ships there waiting for them, which is kind of lame. You know, yeah, I so can't... you could just send one small fleet in. And, if, and the thing is, you yeah. want to concentrate your fleet to defend against a big fleet. So how do you do that? Like, yeah. You need defense. I mean, yeah, this, it, it would be nice if you could intercept. I do have the math figured out, but I still have to do the programming for it. Um, but jump gates will help a lot. Well, if he gets jump out. gates, good luck, man. Yeah, he's probably going to have jump gates before us, but it only it, it allows you to jump between your own star systems instantly. So he would just set up a star system inside our territory. That's what if I he does that, we're in serious trouble. Yeah, <laughs> and then he just yeah just jumps everything through there, and then he can leap leap to any of our systems very very quickly. Uh, so you yeah. you're saying five? So if you put the ground batteries to five, an automated defense net to to two, three, three. Yeah, and also I built orbital weapons and uh, a global defense net and global weapons. Yeah. And yeah, 
I haven't built them yet, but space stations would be a good addition. What's your uh, metal alloy level at? I have 172 metal alloys and 20 lanthanides. heads. So you're it, you're you're fine. I'm pretty low on resources. <laughs> I kept my resources. Yeah. I'm keeping it high, so I pretend that I'm, I'm richer than I am. Oh, that's good. But also then I can just do the basics in case of, of my, but I'm doing too, too much colony upkeep. I should be building uh, ships now that this fucker is doing this. He sounds strong. Yeah. Like, and he's allied with somebody else too? Yep. Who's he allied with? Uh, the Vetterberg Federation or something. I think they're near the top of the map. He actually asked for, he did a, a joint one. He tried to do joint, but then it shows you all your, like, why would you want to do a mutual exchange thing where they see all your planets then? Well, yeah, only if you trust them and you want to, you know, get to know them better. <laughs> no, I said no. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So what's happening on the on the back end front? Um, yeah, I got to try to put in some more time tonight. Uh, I, yeah, I don't really have a good update for you yet. You didn't get anything done this weekend? No. Oh, shit. No, my girlfriend's parents are here from China, and they're leaving in two days. And, yeah, we're just hanging out a lot. This is your new girlfriend? Yeah. And she's from China? Uh, she's from China, yeah. But she's lived here for, like, 13 years. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds serious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, because I'm starting to gear the guys up for the the thing. So hopefully, we'll get that done. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, in um, next week, like from the, basically from the 3rd of May to the 9th of May, I will be off school. So I'll have a lot of time in there to like hammer stuff out. Okay. I'll have basically a whole, a whole week there where I, you know, I'll have a life, but basically I'll have no school, no homework, and just be able to focus on a lot of stuff. So. But I think we got to get this done before then, right? Yeah. I don't know when. When is the timeline here? Um, I'm just thinking about what, when is the timeline here. April, March, April, May. I think May is the beginning of the second cycle. So April, May. No, I guess a week. I think. I think that's still okay. Yeah, yeah. If, if not this week, but the next week, we can power out and get it all done. Yep. Um, but can, okay. Hey, is there any way you can maybe, you know, for choose a remedy, um, when someone recommends somebody, when someone refers someone, <clears throat> can we like, because we got like, is this going to be one big, huge list, right? And I won't know where they're coming from, but if the first people that we let in, then you give them the ability to refer people in, and then we keep track of that. And, and so they're, they're kind of like the multi-level type stuff. Well, at the moment with Choose a Remedy, anyone can just use it. They just can only use it once a day or something like that. No, I know that, I know that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you bring someone else in, if you're already in the Remedy program and you, and you refer it and bring somebody else in under you, I know that doesn't exist right now, but that's that's right. a huge piece because I want to bring facilitators in who bring facilitators in who bring facilitators in kind of thing. Like I want to multi-level it. Kind of, with choose just, a remedy. What's that? With with choose a remedy? Yeah. Well, both at some point, but I mean just 
with choose a remedy. So whoever, like we, we keep track, like if Lori Renton is here and she invites 12 people to into choose a remedy, they're listed underneath her within my screen. Cause right now it'll just be one long screen of people that I can't, you know, it's gonna, if, if we ever get into numbers, I, I don't know who they are and where they came from. Mm. Okay. So are you saying we should change it so that it's an invite only system? Yeah. Okay. And that whoever you invite, it goes under you. And I'm like the head guy, then I invite everybody in and then they invite. So that way we can track. Okay. And then we reward people who invite a lot of people. They get more benefits. All right. Well, uh, okay. I will look can, can, we, can we like, could you do that tonight? Could we put that ahead of everything? Cause it's kind of like that program's ahead of this other program in a sense. Uh, maybe, maybe. Like, what are you Something envisioning? Something you could do in a night? Um, well, like, what are you envisioning for, for Leslie Yell? Are they going to be using it too? Yeah, they will be using it too. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure about this? Because I, I thought the whole idea was that anyone could go there, they could try it, and then they get hooked, and then they sign up. Well... I mean, like I, I'd like to on. have, I'd like to have both. Uh, well, the only way it could be both is if the people that get invited automatically have full access. They're like invited as a full member, but that mm -hmm. defeats the purpose of having people register as well, mostly. Right. Well, I mean, is there any, <clears throat> how about categories? Like, is there any way I want to be able to distinguish the people coming in. Hmm. I guess why? Well, just because if we just have one long list of, of emails of the people that have signed up, as soon as you get over a thousand or 10, you know, it's like, I want to, I actually want them I, to come into the CRM that I'm making right now. I want to bring the emails in so we can use them, right? These are cust potential customers. Sure. But I mean, if you imagine it like, say, like Facebook or something, they don't care where people come from and they're all the same. They're just a lot of users. They don't approach it as like who invited who or anything like that. And they, they have mil you know, billions of people technically. No, I know, but that's Facebook. And I don't give a flying fuck what they're doing. They, I mean, they, I want to build communities, these shared knowledge communities. And right. so this, this is the entry point in. So I, I do want to have, um, I think once they, I, I don't know, my, my, my suggestion would be like, once they register, they, you know, associate themselves with a the group or something and then they're tracked. Otherwise they're just random people using the thing because they like it. Mm. And maybe they'll sign up or maybe they'll get free access because we know them, but one way or another, they'd have to, you know, get the full access before. <clears throat> they're like part of a group or anything and if they're coming in you know from the cl or from someone that we already know then we would just give them a code and they would all just get full membership under that group oh <clears throat> i just like wondering about how how do we track referring people like is there a way to track it so when somebody comes in if they're like a, some kind of referral program yeah i mean yeah for sure you could just uh, have them everyone who signs up has some kind of referral code that they can use and give to their friends and then when their friends come and they can put that code in and sign up <clears throat> but in order to do that you have to either give them some kind of reason to use the code. Like, you know, it gives you free access to, to more spells or, or something like that, or you can't actually even use the thing without using the code. Otherwise people will just go there, join and not use a code. Right. Well, yeah, no, we, we could, 
I think giving a reward is good. Like, let's say if you invite 10 people in, maybe you get the premium. Every right, but what do those people get? Because those people, the, the the people that are using the code have to have an incentive to use it. Otherwise, they'll just join and not use it. Okay. Um, Most of the time, that's how that works, you know. It has to well, give them a bonus or something. I mean, the, 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 the thing would be that they're coming under someone. So that's their... Um, Yeah, let me think about it. So I guess you're kind of naysaying right now. Um, well, I think it needs some more thought and like, um, like it choose a remedy that works. Uh, we'll get this chat room to work and there are gonna be other pieces that we need to make work. And then at some point we've got to integrate them all together, but we're not really there yet. Okay. I think until until we get more pieces working and we really, really know how all of that's going to fit together. I don't think it makes sense yet to try to, to build pieces of the working together. Okay. Okay. That makes sense to me. Um, okay. So just, I guess go ahead with uh, doing some more back end if you can, or you, or you just want to wait till the third time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do some more before then for sure. If I can, I'll try to get it finished before then. It's just, I just know I'll have a lot of time then for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that makes me feel decent just knowing that you got the time then so we can get it done. Cause I, I, and then I'm just, I'm just on my end figuring out some more pieces of the puzzle. So that's fine. Okay. So I guess, I guess Frick, man, I mean, that's like, he's got three times the research. So he's just going to pop ahead in technology and, and he's already popping ahead. He's, he's got the game in hand pretty much. Then he's just going to start to wipe people out, I guess. Hey, eh? well, yeah, I think that our only, our only hope at this point in, until we can catch up technologically or anything is to team up and to, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think what practice. about that long term, like those long term missiles? Like that you got that. Oh, the interstellar ballistic missiles. How do they work? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I haven't programmed those yet. Oh, they don't work. <laughs> no, no. Shit. Nobody's has. Does anyone have them? No, not yet. But pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit behind on that piece. Because if we if we had that going, and we just started sending all these big missiles at his colonies. Um, yeah. Who's who's the person to our left? Like, are they warlike at all, or they're just like, how many planets do they got? Nah, they're super peaceful. They just want to sit there and build. So we don't have to worry uh, about being attacked from be from behind. No. No, definitely not the Capria hierarchy or whatever. No, they're peaceful. We should lay a trap or something. We should find some way we can suck all his ships in and somehow destroy them all easily. I think the only way to do that is if we had jump gates. We don't have jump gates. Can you, you can just give us jump gates. All of a sudden, this guy discovered <laughs> it. <laughs> that would not be fair. No, I think, yeah, I think our best option right now is to because an alliance does give us certain abilities as well. Like um, if we were allied, for instance, we would share each other's sensor, sensor information. So I could see everything you could see. You could see everything I could see. Uh, that alone is a big help. But I think, I think it's better not to let him know that we're allies and only use it when... Well, yeah, he can't tell that we're allies. Okay. You know, and then we can also have a research pact, which basically gives us 15% bonus to all our research, each of us. Oh, really? How do you do the research pact? Uh, once we have a defense pact, we can sign a research pact. The defense pact means I'm at war with everyone you're at war? <laughs> yeah, that's the downside. As soon as you sign that, you're going to automatically be at war with, uh, uh, let's see, one, two, three... Four different empires at this what? point. What? You're four with four empires? <laughs> I am. <laughs> or 
Oh, uh, yeah, four. Yeah. So are they actually actively attacking you? Um, one of them has not attacked me yet, but I know he has the ability to. I saw him send a fleet. He was sending a fleet to my system last night, but for some reason he canceled it. I don't know why. Um, another one, he's small, I think, but he managed to send a destroyer behind my enemy lines and he, he killed off a bunch of my stuff. And the fourth one, I haven't seen any action from him yet, but for whatever reason, he declared war on me. Okay, well, I'll I'll hold back for now and and build yeah. up my. Uh, <laughs> sounds like I've got to freaking do some big building right now. I could just see all I want to do is I want to consolidate my perimeter. I'm I'm not going out anymore. I just want to do the interior planets, and and war would just be it's just a waste of resources. Now you got to protect everything, attack it like it's. Well, yes. I mean, at some point, I want to make a game that's that's totally different than any other game where it's not a game of conflict, right? All games are about conflict and hierarchies and domination and, you know, all that. But it's got to be fun, whatever it is. Otherwise, no one wants to play it. But I would like to, to create a game that, that changes things like that. Well, I'm hoping what we're doing is going to do that. I'm hoping that what we, we're doing is, is, uh, is really going to do it. It's going to be fun well, to begin that's that's a whole other thing. Yeah. All right, I gotta go though. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay. All right. Salute, Dave.